I'd like to, at this time, acknowledge Spartanburg County Clerk of Court, Hope Blackley. She didn't want to speak unless she changed her mind. Do you want to speak? Come on up. All right. <laughs> Good evening. I want to thank the NRMC for having me tonight. Um, and it was asked why am I even on the agenda of the program, and I'm unopposed. Uh, I showed up and came out because it's my responsibility, regardless if I have opposition or not. Um, I'm very proud to be Spumbrick County Clerk of Court. I was appointed by Governor Mark Sanford, actually where I met Mr. Gilchrist when we both worked for Governor Sanford in Columbia. But um, there's a lot of work that's been done. I came in under some kind of odd circumstances with the former clerk uh, having faded out and um, with some troubles that he uh, came under as clerk of court. Uh, my goal has been to change the office to make sure we're providing proper service to anybody who comes into that courthouse. No matter what you look like or what your economic background is, we're going to serve you. We're going to serve you fair and efficiently and effectively. Uh, I'm probably better known as the child support woman or the child support lady or that jury lady who summons me to, uh, for, to court for jury duty. Uh, whatever the title is, I'm very proud to do that and serve Palmerick County and looking forward to serving another four years. So I do ask for your vote in November and take nothing for granted. You can always, there's always some opposition lurking around and there could be a write-in candidate. So. I take nothing for granted, and I still respectfully ask for your vote in November. But I do want to uh, mention something else. I am very proud of what this caucus is doing. I've met with Bill Connolly and other Republican leaders uh, in the past and uh, talked about how we could strengthen the numbers of Af African Americans in the Republican Party. Um, I remember coming back and running as a Republican, uh, having worked for Trey Gowdy, uh, Holman Gossett, Trey Gowdy, and Mark Sanford, and being ostracized by my family, not speaking to me for a year, over a year, because of my party affiliation. Um, I, I want to take that back to what Stephen said earlier in regards to, I had to go back and forth with my family and explain why I was a Republican. And I said, well, you never asked me. We, we never discussed what our party affiliations were growing up. You always told me to vote for the best candidate who had the best platform. So why should that change now? Why, does she, why should it be labeled? Why should I have to go under a label? And so that kind of changed the dynamics. Now we have, uh, we're very happy. Now we're speaking to each other. And my mom and father actually believe in what I'm doing and the party. Um, I remember what, the day of my appointment when I went up uh, to the solicitor's office and uh, I, I was introduced to a legislator who is no longer in Columbia. And I was introduced to him and he would not shake my hand. And I thought, wow, is this what I've got to deal with? But that only happened that one time. Since then, I have been embraced by the Republican Party wholeheartedly. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, but I do want to challenge everyone in this room to tell someone about the Republican Party, whether you're white, African American, Asian, black, whatever, uh, about the good things. No party's perfect, and there are some things that we do need to improve on. We're not going to sugarcoat it. If, if anybody knows me knows that I, I'm going to tell you like it is, whether you like it or not. And um, I know that there are some things we need to improve on, and I challenge everybody in this room, especially party leaders, to step up to the plate and let's invite everybody in, make them feel comfortable, but speak the truth and only the truth. All this trash talking and things that aren't true and just putting things out just to make someone look bad, we, we don't want to be that party. We want to be a party that embraces change. We want to be a party that embraces change and hold people accountable the proper way. So I ask that you take that as your challenge when you leave for the night to make this party better. And thank you for having me. All the best.